just figuring out uh, this lot here. So I've drilled my hole for my, uh, they're gonna have a Collingwood H2 here. Um, I see I've got two switch wires here, three mains, two neutrals. I'm gonna get rid of the fan that's already here. So one of those three cores would go completely and I'll do a new three core and a new two core to daisy chain off of this one. Well, in fact, no, I'll probably do it. I've got a box. I'm gonna put all this in and then I'll have a light and feed, uh, like switch line out into this Collinwood and then out from here, I'll rod back up along and come along and put a down right there. I'll just leave it for a six ready, Collinwood up. So yeah, just figuring out this, run some wires around. So I've actually changed my mind on what I'm gonna do. Rather than having a, I was gonna get a Hager box, shove it up behind the, the down light and put it um, up there, all my connections. But as it's straightforward enough, what I'm going to do instead, I'm changing, always changing, always evolving. <laughs> I'll um, and pull back the feed, which is here. All right, I'm going to cut in where they're, because they're still having in the pull cord. So I'm going to cut in a 64 mil hole, a fast fix circular box up there. Um, I tend to do that anyway, because um, it allows, you can have a little play in the, in the box behind. Same with when I'm fitting ACOs, I'll fit a 64 mil circular fast fix box. Um, so I can hide all the slack up in there. Anyway, fast fix box there, I'll drop the feed into there, I'll drop the switch wire out and then down to here, which I've already started pulling in, and then daisy chain off to the second down light. And I'll take another, I'll take a three core from this position and come around and go down into my fan isolator. Uh, I'm not too sure how to do it. I'm just showing you what I'm doing. It's not for education, this. Um, fast fix box, you can see I've got my feed in and my permanent live to permanent line switch line to the fan. I've got a switch line for the fan, switch line for the lights, all the neutrals and the CPCs. That'll all go in. That'll go in the terminals. Those two will probably go in the terminals of the um, actual pull cord. The rest of the neutrals probably stay in where it goes. Then we've got the first spot and then clip round and the second spot is going there. It's a bit tricky to film this, but uh, so the fast fix box pendants the holes are the same size or the same distance apart as the conduit box lids. Um, so they just line straight up. Sometimes I put the base on because obviously that lines up as well. You can fix that to the base um, or you can just use fix the, the front to the um, to the fast fix box. Uh, but you just need some longer 3.5s because it won't reach otherwise the shitty ones that come with the, you know, with the surface base. But yeah. It's a neat little idea. I mean, I, I've done it for years. Um, and more recently, I started doing it on ACO smoke detectors, like boshing in a fast fix box so I can lose all the slack in there. You know, if I can't find a a decent uh, timber nearby, and then I just do plastwood fixings. I might be able to get one fixing on the ACO base and then another one will be a plastwood fixing, but yeah. It's just somewhere you can lose all the slack.